and anybody that commented or liked it, I reached out to, and um, I also did a poll on my Instagram of uh, my story of reacting like shocked and a girl that I've reached out to in the past who had done beach body in the past, but was no longer doing it because she had lacrosse season. So I said, Hey girly, um, I saw your reaction on, um, let me find it. Hold on. I'm great at public speaking. I almost failed that class. Just so you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said, hey, girly, I saw your reaction on my story. Uh, does this mean you are ready to jump in with me? And she's a college student. So she said, right now, I don't have extra money. Um, so that's when I dove into coaching. I said, hey, uh, I, I mean, I totally get that. Finance is a huge thing for people. But I have this opportunity I would love to offer to you. And we're meeting up for coffee in a couple of weeks to talk more about it. Um, uh, that you can sign up three people and that pays for your initial sign up cost. And then from there on out, just sign up people and you're going to start making money. So, um, that's kind of that invite, but I, I'm not like super regular with my conversation. So I don't have one that I can just enter and I kind of customize each one to each person. I'm not a copy. Okay. Are you spending time though, like going out there and inviting people who are not liking your post? No, I am not. Okay. So that's lesson number one. You got to start doing that. Um, but I do like that example of like what to say to somebody who likes your post. So that's two different, that's two different ways, right? So that's what you can say to somebody who liked your post. It's very easy breezy. Like, Hey, you liked my post. Um, just thought I'd reach out to you. And I don't know if you guys watched that video that I posted in the team page of Ashley Molstead talking about like not making your invites weird, but basically treating it as if like, you know, your favorite singer of all times in town and you, you've got two tickets and you're like telling your bestie, like, we've got to go, right? Like you wouldn't feel weird about that and be like, oh, sorry, I know you've got like a, to buy a ticket to like, you know, the concert and you have to buy like maybe a beer for yourself while you're there and stuff like that. But like, I promise it's going to be fun and you're going to enjoy it. No, you're like, Friggin' so and so's in town, like let's get there immediately. It's gonna be fucking awesome. And that's what you do. So that's how you wanna treat this. So it's like, I'm starting this new group. My plan's to lose 10 pounds. Like, you wanna keep each other accountable. Like, I'm going for it with or without you. And then somebody's gonna be like, okay, yeah, I want it. So that's great. Now, Kayla, haha. -ha. What will you send to somebody that hasn't liked anything and you wanna give an invite to real quick? I'm muting you, Rochelle, not because I don't like you, just because I'm keeping the noise down. Hold on, I gotta unmute you, Kayla. Okay, go. So someone who hasn't really get down. All right, puppy. Um, oh, hasn't liked it, but just a random invite. You're sending out a cold invite or a lukewarm invite because let's face it, if they follow you. Yeah. So I sent this one out a lot the other day. It was, um, hey, girly, how are things? Hope all is well with the family. Because most of the time when I'm like cold inviting, it's them with like their kid or their dog or whatever. Um, hope all is well with the family. I wanted to reach out and see if you were interested in learning more about this kick-ass fitness group that I'm in full of busy mamas like you and me. And awesome. it just has a smiley face with it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Katie, I'm gonna have you reiterate it because I know you wanted to answer the question, so I'll let you answer the question. But just because you're an elite coach and you're a five-star diamond, I want you to answer it now and tell me what you would send because Kayla's going to find out that it's actually pretty similar. I was going to say pretty much exactly what Kayla just said. I say, hey, girl, I have another online health and fitness accountability group starting soon. May or may not interest you, but I figured I would throw it out there. I'm super stoked. I wanted to extend the invite. Would you be interested to learn more? <clears throat> Awesome. And, um, you guys, like, I'll just say that like, you can take that. That's fairly generic. And if you look at the script section, um, if you look at the files in, in the team project fearless page, and then you look at the script section, you're going to see that right in there, um, there's numerous examples for you to grab of just like pure invites that you can just send out to somebody and you are absolutely 100% welcome to make them your own or to use them as is like one that I've been using lately just says girlfriend. Hey, like, I don't know what you've planned for the upcoming month, but like I'm jumping in this group. I'm going to crush my health and fitness goals. Are you interested in joining me? Like super duper 
simple. Another one I've been sending out just says like, hey sister, um, enrolling for my next boot camp. Uh, would you like me to send over some deets to see if this is a good fit for you? They're all pretty much the same, you guys, but like they're just, you can just tweak them slightly to match whoever you're talking to. If it's somebody that you've talked to before, if it's somebody you've never talked to, et cetera. Okay, so now you have somebody that says, sure, I'm interested in that group, send me details. What do you say, Kat Falcone? I tried to unmute you, but it didn't work. So I have a quick text that I say. What does it say? I'm gonna guarantee you it's the same text we all use. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to remember where it is. Let me find it in my keyboard, y'all. So, I say CG, and then it says, oh. FYI, mine is literally saved as CG too. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's like CG1 or something like that, but it's CG, and it says, so the group is all virtual. It's a place for ladies like us leading busy lives to have a fun and positive place to connect with other women doing the same damn thing. I require that everyone follow up, follow up a program of their choice through streaming access that we all have, but I plan, um, but the plan will mesh with your goals, life, et cetera. What are your health and fitness goals? Love it. Perfect. Shannon, what's yours? You guys, and the reason I'm asking multiple people the same question is because I want you to see that the people on this team that are succeeding are using very similar verbiage, right? Like we're not reinventing the wheel. So Shannon, go ahead. What, what does yours say? Um, yeah, mine's pretty much um, the same thing. I'm not going to have, be able to find it here, but I basically say, um, <clears throat> I, I run a private online group where a bunch of busy moms are, uh, you know, working on their fitness goals. We're all folk or something like, um, we're all working on a fit, doing a fitness and nutrition plan that is helping us meet our own goals. Um, are you working towards any of your own? Cool. Yeah, you guys, mine literally is so similar to both of theirs. It literally just says it's a group that's all about accountability and support. You can post as little or as much as you'd like. It's all about your goals and what you're trying to achieve. We post recipes, sweaty selfies, like we keep it really fun. Sometimes we'll do daily challenges or giveaways. Like, what are your current health and fitness goals? It's been that since day one. That's why I can say it off my head just like that. All right, so here's the thing. Meg Lyon. What if I say, so does this cost money? You gotta unmute yourself, homie. Gotcha. I just did Oh, does this cost money? Yeah, what if they come back and immediately say, does this cost money? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing you, I'm going to oh. Dominique. Dom, go. Unmuting Dom, go. Oh crap, unmute. Why wouldn't it let me unmute you? There you go. There, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so mine's, I'm really proud of this one. So it says, I totally understand how you feel. I felt the same way when I first thought about starting all of this. And being tight on funds made it hard to spend money on things that make, that felt like extra, but I knew it was a, I wouldn't regret an investment in myself. Um, I had no idea how I would afford it, but now I look at the things that, sorry, I'm like getting emotional reading this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the money thing was a big deal for me um so I said okay but I took a look at things that I was spending money on and found I could cut corners in areas of my life to be able to afford a healthy lifestyle instead of driving through my morning Dunkin Donuts um is there an area in your life where you can move money around in order to invest in your health love it I love it that's really good I would say that that's also a great comeback for later on in the topic, you guys, like when they're like, when you've talked about all their goals too. So like you can refer back to that, like when they've talked about goals with them and you've, you know, said, here's your package, this is what you should do, et cetera. And then they come back with like the money excuse, also perfect. Um, so when somebody says to me, does this cost something? I immediately will say to them, well, I, as your coach, come free and access to my group and that accountability there is also free. It just depends on if we get you started with a package or not. What are you doing for a workout currently? Do you see how I didn't even answer the question? I just went right over to like, what are you doing for a workout currently? 
And that way I can spend a little bit more time in that value building area before I give them like a price on something um, and say, you know, uh, Katie said you say the same thing. Do you, you say the same exact thing or you say something slightly different? I make it sound like it's not a big deal. Like I say, my group is completely free. Um, and my support is your coach. All you'll need to purchase other supplies to help you reach your goals with like perfect cool. space. So it like makes Love. it less of a commitment. And then I, I go back to it and say, do you have any you're working towards? Cause they still didn't answer me. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes like right in between that, are you working towards or whatever? Yeah. Cause exactly. You want to go back to like the, are you working towards any goals? Um, I'll say, and and that price is a lot less. And it was like, and the cost of that's a lot less than what you're thinking. Because some mm -hmm. of them are thinking like gym membership where they're going to be having to pay like 130 bucks a month or something like that. And it's, you know, not at all. It's reasonably priced. Um, so what if they come back at you though and they go, okay, well, how much are those packages though? Like they don't want to move forward in the conversation until they know. I say... Um, it varies depending on what your goals are and what we get you started with. So let me ask you a few questions so that we can figure out what's going to fit best for your life or whatever. Perfect. And then the question again, what are your current what goals? What are your goals? <laughs> okay. So let's say they're not a bunch of a-holes just asking you for the price right away. <laughs> and I did that, you guys, because sometimes that's what happens, right? Like life throws a curveball and they don't just answer your question. They like go rogue and you're like, oh, what do I do now? <laughs> and so we want to have some answers for that too. But if they do just answer your goals, let's say, um, okay, I'm going to answer the question. What are my goals? I'm going to say, I want to be healthy and just feel good about myself. Who wants to answer that? What do you say next? Go for it, Erica. If I can unmute myself, sorry. I, I tell him to be, a, you gotta be a little more specific on what does healthy mean to you? Yes. It's that everybody's, everybody's definition of healthy is different. So what does it mean to you? Okay, what if I come back with like, well, I don't know, I don't really know, I don't, I don't really know. So tell me what are some of the things you're struggling with? Are, is there a specific amount of weight that you wanna lose? Are there a certain amount of inches that you wanna lose? Or are you struggling with uh, low energy or getting sleep at night? Give perfect. me some specifics. Perfect. And that's a perfect answer. And I asked that specifically because I did have somebody literally say that to me today. I just don't know. <laughs> like, I just don't know. I don't know anything about anything. And I was like, okay, do you want to build endurance, lose weight, build lean muscle? Do you want more energy? Exactly what Erica just said. That's when we dig into those questions like the, the the more forming questions about what they want to achieve okay so they say i guess i just want to lose weight who wants to answer that meg how much weight are you looking to lose i want to lose i don't know i think like five to start all right so how much time do you have to dedicate each day? Mm, maybe like, maybe like 30 minutes. All right. So 30 minutes. Now, as far as. What I, want you to ask, I want you to ask a different question in between there. They said five pounds to start. Oh, so long term. Mm -hmm. How much weight do you want to lose? Like yeah. Um, I need to lose 75 pounds. All right. And so, you guys, I'm not being an asshole to Meg. I'm just saying like, this is something that comes up, right? Like somebody will tell you, I just want to lose five pounds. And you're like, awesome. Like you just probably need to tone up. Let's keep going with 80 day obsession or like insanity max 30. And then you realize this person is extremely overweight and is not going to be able to handle that. Right. So we have to keep asking questions. Okay. So Meg, keep asking me questions. It's like the question game. <laughs> the psychology. Katie's in a um, real rare. <laughs> so as far as your nutrition, what do you struggle most with there? Now that you just said you wanted to lose 75. Um, I think I eat pretty healthy. Okay, so usually my question also What'd you say, Kat? They, that's what they say, isn't it? I eat pretty healthy. So, 
So what are you eating? <laughs> I usually give examples there. So I ask that question and I say, for example, meal prep, cravings, portion control, sugar addiction, emotional eating, to give them some examples to then like pick and choose. Okay. Because so otherwise I would get that. <laughs> okay. And I don't want that answer. <laughs> okay. So uh, what was my what were my selections? Portion control, cravings, emotional eating, um, having healthy stuff on the go. I don't know. I feel like I, you know, I'm not eating that much. I probably just like, you know, have like a coffee in the morning and like a yogurt for a snack and like a healthy lunch. And then like, I typically have like a healthy dinner. I don't know. I think like my portions are okay. I get a lot of people who say, I really just don't eat that much. Like I don't, you know, like they'll eat maybe twice a day, but, and then that's like, okay, well, you're not eating enough. That's why you're not losing. And so then it goes into but that. How do you get to that question? You get to that question by what Kat just wrote. Kat, open your mouth. <laughs> I mean, not like just open, open your mouth. I just, I basically asked them like, when they have questions on eating, because a lot of people think they're eating healthy when they're eating like certain foods that all of us are like cringing when we look at their, we're like, oh my God, you eat that. And I know it says low fat. I know it says low sugar, but it's all crap. So I always ask, take me through a day of what you typically eat. Like yeah. lay it out for me. What are the things that you're eating? Yeah. Tell and me it's what like the about. salad thing that Autumn talks about. Like that. Exactly. So, but that's how you can get to that question though that Meg just asked. Because Meg's question is super duper important. Like if you can qualify like where people are struggling with in their nutrition, that like you can, that is something then later on when they're like, oh, I don't need this or I don't need that. Like you have some like backbone to what you're going to recommend and say to them because you know you can help them, right? So what Kat's saying is walk me through a typical day because when, when I say that to people, that's when I get like the... I don't eat until noon and then I have a salad and then like, you know, typically I'll have like, um, pasta and like, you know, something else for dinner. Right. And most of the time, if you're looking at the things that they're eating, it's like sugar, 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 carb, 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 carb. And you're like, okay, where's the protein? Where are the vegetables? And then you can start digging deeper there too. You can ask them. And if you guys didn't watch that call with Kim Fitzpatrick, it is freaking amazing. And she literally will give you some actual like sentences you can use too. But, um, it was a national wake up call just so you know, to look it up. But, um, she says that then from there she'll say, okay, like, what do you eat from when you wake till noon? you know, and then she'll ask them more about the energy question. Like, do you find yourself like lacking energy in the middle of the afternoon? Are you going and getting like a snack or a coffee? Um, do you, you know, do you find yourself like, and then to answer like Meg's question too, with like meal prep and stuff like that. Like if, are they struggling with that? Because like they didn't meal prep, so they don't eat all day. And then they are starving at night. So they like pick up the quickest thing that they can get at the store and it's like a crap meal and they think that they're doing something healthy because it's like a lean cuisine or they got an Italian at Amato's or like whatever that might be, right? So we want to dig deeper into those questions. There are so many directions that you can go in that, but like you want to ask, this is the area where you want to spend the most time. And so um, from there, let's just say that I'm somebody who told you that I, um, I don't eat anything before noon. I just drink a lot of coffee. Um, but I think I'm doing pretty well because after that I have like an apple and then I have a salad and some protein. And then for like a snack, I have some like nut butter and some veggies. And then when I get home, I, you know, typically eat like a meat, a starch and a veggie. Where do you go from here? Go ahead, Erica. I ask them, tell me about your energy level throughout your typical day. In the mornings when you're, when you're pushing the coffee, are you pushing it because you're feeling sluggish and you're, you just are lacking energy? And then how's your energy in the middle of, middle of the afternoon? Yeah, in the morning, it's just I don't have time to do anything else. And then like, yeah, and by the end of the day, I'm usually quite tired. So I don't typically make my food. I just grab something. Now what? Yeah. That's where I tell them that's, that truly is your nutrition piece that's missing. That's, that's, 
the link that's missing right there and, and learning how to truly eat healthy. And, and maybe one of the things that uh, my group focuses on is, is teaching you those tips and tricks to make your food ahead of time so that you do have time to, to eat as you're running out the door and, it, and it's already prepped and made. Awesome. I so love build it. value. So that, exactly. That's a really great point that she just made there, you guys, that like in between these sentences, like in between these questions and things, we want to reiterate that we're not just asking, getting an answer and then boom, asking another question, right? Like we are, but you can take like a sentence or two in there and relate to them. Like, oh my God, I know exactly how you feel. Like I felt the same way. I used to do that too. Like, but what I found is this. And while I'm looking through your answers, like so many people struggle with that same thing. Here's what I'm seeing the pattern of. And here's where I think I can help you. Right? So it's like, I know what you're, you're not judging them. You're looking at it and you're like, oh my God, I absolutely can help you. Like with a little bit of like, so if it is somebody, right? Like that basically gave you all the foods in the world that are like super duper healthy, but they're still struggling with their weight, right? You know, it's a portion control thing. If it's somebody who is like not eating throughout the day and then their energy sucks, they could benefit from Shakeology. They could benefit from, you know, energized. They could benefit from prepping their meals. So like, you're going to find answers about what you can recommend to people and how you can build that value when they give you an objection leader based on digging deep here. And that's why you really want to take that time and ask all those questions instead of just being like someone like my post, do you want to join my group? You should do this program. Awesome. It's $160. And they're like, huh? Like there's no value there. And that's where you're going to get the money objection. All right. So now, you know, their uh, nutrition and you know, their, um, their fitness goals. So they want to lose weight and they suck at meal prep and their energy is low. So where do you go from here? I'm not going to call on people. You can just unlock yourself. Actually, I am. Katie, don't answer that. Jordan. <laughs> she goes, oh shit. <laughs> do you want me to unmute you? I did. Go for it, girl. Wait, wait, repeat the question. <laughs> So, you know my fitness goals. I want to lose 75 pounds. I suck at meal prep and my energy is down. And I think I eat healthy, but I also need to lose 75 pounds of weight. So, um, so the I think I eat healthy, I would go back to the, like, asking them to, like, lay out their day of food. Like, what Where do you mean? We're past oh, okay. that. Where um, do you mean? She hates me right now. So <laughs> I'm like feeling there's like a ton of information. Um, so they want to lose. So I guess like what things have um, you struck? Like have you done any type of fitness programs or nutrition programs in the past? And like what have you struggled with? And what have you worked? Uh, what's worked well for you? Yes. So I love that. This is where we go into the fitness part of it, you guys. So this is where we're gonna ask like, have you done a workout in the past? If so you know, what was it? What did you like? What worked for you? Well, those sorts of things. So for Jordan's question, um, she asked me what I did in the past. I'm going to say, I don't know. I used to go to planet fitness like every once in a while. Um, and you know, I just found that like the treadmill was just like really boring. And I, um, I don't know. I just never had time to get there and back and like take care of my kids and everything. So I would um, like talk up the whole home fitness thing and how it's super convenient um, when you have a family or you don't have time, you don't have to worry about going anywhere. Um, and then like I might ask, was there anything that ever interested you like, like weights or something like that or types of workouts that they wanted to try but never did um, and then kind of suggest things from there. Okay, gotcha. So I would go with, that's a good answer, Jordan. I know I picked on you and put you on the spot. Um, so yeah, like this is where we go into the fitness part of it, you guys. This is where we're going to look at them and we're going to say like, what have you done in the past? Um, are you doing anything currently? Now, here's a big one. Let's pretend I did say I'm doing something currently, right? But I just told you I need to lose 75 pounds and I just told you I'm eating like crap and I'm not seeing results, right? So I'm saying, yeah, I'm currently, I'm going to um, Orange Theory. Are you liking the results you're seeing? Mm, not really. I feel plateaued. How come? Uh, I'm not losing weight. 
I need the first part. I don't know what to say now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so what do you like most about Orange Theory? If you're not getting results and you're not loving what's happening. I do really of- like like the community and like the atmosphere there. So like that's kind of fun. And sometimes it is fun to get out of the house. But like I can't always make it there because like my schedule doesn't allow for it. So totally. <laughs> Um, I would say then, um, totally understand the part about community. I found that with these challenge groups, it's given me the ability to connect with all kinds of women doing all kinds of different things in life, living busy schedules. I've found that most girls getting the best results in these groups after connecting with the community are all following a plan. Are you open to chatting about certain programs that might work better for your lifestyle? Sure. Do you like weights, cardio, hit? What's your favorite type of workout, girl? <laughs> uh, anything but running and yoga. Oh, I hate running. <laughs> Me too. Do you struggle? You said, you said that you struggled with time and making it happen. If you had to commit a certain time each day, could you do it in under 30 minutes or could you commit up to an hour? Um, if I didn't have to, like, probably maybe, like, 45 minutes. Like, if I didn't have to, like, leave my house, maybe I could fit it in an hour. But, like, I would prefer something that's not as long. <laughs> do you want me to let someone else do this? <laughs> yeah. Lauren. Okay. Kat, I have a question. Wait, wait. Can we stop? Can I have, ask a question? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you always give just those two options of the minimum of 30 minutes and then up to an hour? So then that way you kind of know where to go with the range of it? I I just ask them straight up, like, how much time can you dedicate to a workout each day? And then if they tell me, like, 45 minutes, then I know anything below that is good to go. Okay. You know, or if they're, like, literally, like, I'm so strapped for time, I'm like, dude, I can do it with 30 minutes four times a week. Yeah. The only reason why I give time frames is because I feel like if you're, like, okay, how much time do you want? Some people think that they literally have to go to the gym for two freaking hours to get good results. So I know in my head that like we have a whole handful of programs that are under 30 minutes and then we have a whole handful of programs that are over 30 minutes, no longer than an hour. So I break it in those two just because it gives me a route to take with what program I'm going for. You'll notice a lot, most people say up to an hour. Like most, most people will tell you up to an hour and it is because of that like underlying belief that they have to like work out for hours in order to achieve results. So, um, what was the next question I said after that? I was picking on Lauren. So I said, um, yeah, like anything, like around 45 minutes, so. Um, I would probably say, and what, what what was your answer to? I need to lose 75 pounds. I suck at portion control. I have no energy. I need to lose weight. I don't, don't like running. I don't want to do yoga, and I have 45 minutes. And yoga. I... I would probably say, um, because I've done 21 day fix a lot of times, I really liked that one because there's a mix of some cardio and weight. There's yoga in there, but you could maybe switch it up and do something different that day. Um, so that's what I would probably say. And then, you know, if her long-term goal was the 75 pounds, I would probably say if you're which you probably will start to fall in love with the programs, you're going to have access to all these other programs. And there's so many more different options from there that you have so many to choose from. Where did Dominique's face go? All I thought is embrace the yoga, but she's missing from where she was before on my screen. Um, so, okay. But are you just going to give her one option? No, I was, what I usually like to do is send them the video from the back office and see what they like about that video if they if there's something specific they like about it or don't like about it and then we can go from there too okay but do you always just recommend one and then send one um no not necessarily it depends on what their answer is because I mean we've just asked all these answer these questions so I've we've kind of like whittled it down to how much she needs to lose what she wants to do for exercise okay Lauren I love you, but I'm going to go wrong. This is, we always recommend two 
we always recommend at least two. And the reason being is so that I don't have to look at somebody and go, what did you think of that? And ask them what they liked or didn't Wait, like. Wait, didn't you say at the beginning of the call there was no wrong answers? Yeah, there's learning experiences. <laughs> it learned, no, learning opportunities. <laughs> it wasn't like, all thanks. wrong. Thanks a lot. It wasn't all wrong. It was mostly right. But you always want to give two options. And here's why. It's so that you can say to them, and when you send them, you guys, like, so like Lauren said, I talked about all this shit. I know exactly what I want to give this girl. This is what's freaking for her. You know that, right? So you know that that's really what you want to drive them towards. You can say to them, listen, I'm going to recommend A and B, but I am really leaning towards A for you. It's 100% like, you know, going to get you to your goals and you're going to love it. But take a peek at both and see which one you're leaning towards. Because then I'm asking them which one they want rather than do you like this or not? And then having to continually go back and like draw that conversation out and like, okay, you don't like that? Well, try this. Oh, you don't like that? Try this. Oh, you don't like that? Try this, right? Like I want, oh no, Lauren left. I mean, <laughs> but like that, that's what you want to do, right? You want to make sure that you can say that. You never, ever, 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 you can write those down. You never, ever, ever want to ask them what they think. Okay. It's always, do you like this one or this one? Or you can write back and say, I'm so curious, which one are you leaning towards? It gives you something like easier to come back with too, as like a follow-up. And then because you kind of steered them in one direction and said, this is what I'm leaning towards for you. Typically that's the one that they go with. Okay. So now they've said, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I muted you. <laughs> video up. Um, so now that you know which one they picked because they come back to you and you've sent them say lift four and you've sent them 21 day fix. And here's the thing too. And I kind of skipped this part, you guys. Um, I also, when I send it to them, I tell them why I chose them for them right? Like I'm going to say, I chose this for you because you said you have only like 30 minutes a day and you're really struggling with your portion control and this is going to help with X, Y, and Z. And I sent this one because it's also really good. And you might like it, but blah, 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 right? Like, does that make sense? So you're already staving off those objections by telling them how this thing that you just sent to them that they're going to take a peek at is going to fix their problem. Okay. So now I say, I think I'm leaning towards the 21 day fix. What happens next? Awesome. What shake flavor do you want? What's your email? I might even, I might insert like, awesome. That's what I was leaning towards for you as well. Like you're going to freaking love this. Like I cannot wait to get you in that group with me. It's going to be so fun. What's your email? What flavor shake do you want? Literally that's it. Right. However, I will tell you that if there was somebody that was telling me that they're struggling with energized, I'm going to ask that question that Mariah just asked first. But if there's somebody that was telling me that they're struggling with like energy and that they haven't worked out in a long time, I am going to say to them something along the lines of like, I would also recommend that we get you started on the performance line as well, because it's going to help motivate you to do your workout and give you that extra energy. And also it's going to stave off that muscle fatigue so that you don't like feel so sore the next day that you don't want to like do your workout again. And so I'll give them that option as well. All right. I gave Mariah my email and I said, what flavor shakes do you have? Teresa. I just unmuted you. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, what flavor shakes do I have? So I'll give them the options of, um, I might ask if they have any dairy issues. Um, and then if, so if they do, I'll recommend the, the vegan. Um, and then I give them the option of the chocolate, the strawberry, um, cafe latte. I usually will say, oh, this one's really my favorite. You know, like if they pick whichever one, I'll go, oh, that's great. That's my fave. I have some great recipes Perfect. I can share with you for that. Um, yeah. Perfect answer. So. Yeah. And, and really guys, that goes a long way too. Like just being like, yeah, this one's my favorite. It's freaking awesome. Like you're going to love it. Right. And then you can be like, oh my God, you can mix nut butter in there. You could throw berries in there. Like I hide my spinach in it because I hate vegetables. Like those sorts of things go a long way too. You're making it more of a conversation than like you just like interviewing somebody. Right. 
Um, okay, so now you've sent the link to me. Now what? And I'm gonna pick on Tammy. So you send them the link and then you say, I'll hang around just in case you've got more questions and leave it at that. Not just that. How do we send the link? You can do the share a cart, but you can also copy the URL link right there and put it in the message. Okay. Also, what do we do? What is that, Kayla? What are you doing with your fingers over there? <laughs> you do it two ways. So you copy it and you send it to them and then you say, hey girl, I'm going to also send, I sent you a quick email with it in there. Sometimes it's hard to open. No worries. I'm going to copy and paste it here too. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or have any troubles. Sometimes it can be tricky. You both are right, but I'm asking for a step <clears throat> before that. Kaylin. Dang. Um, <clears throat> I say just things like, Great, I'm so excited to have you. I cannot wait to get you started on your journey. And then, um, then I do the same that Kayla was saying. I say, hey, I sent How you an email. Doing? How are you sending them all? I just do the email and then the I send, I put the link in the message. Katie wants me to ask her. Go ahead, are Katie. You <laughs> Kate, like, look at all the old schoolers are on your like, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Katie. Uh, so I'm trying to build my second CBC to Diamond and Brandon to Diamond. So I'm signing everybody up as discount coaches. And yes. so I say, I went ahead and set you up as a coach. There's no obligation to coach like me. It just sets you up to get 25% off discount on all products in Shakeology moving forward. If you choose to continue, which most people do, that's what I say initially. And Boom. that's like, Boom. Yes. Then you can send it both ways and say why you sent it. Yes. Like what meaning the link and the email. Um, okay. So guys, can I say something? I used to like go into this big explanation before about the coach sign up, but I don't do that anymore. Cause then it just like scares people off. So I set them up, send it to them and be like, Hey, I just want to let you know, I set you up with a 25% discount it says you're a coach, but you don't have to, unless you want to like basically the same thing. And I feel like it works so much better for me. I, Dive yeah, into because I mind. feel like a common mistake that newer coaches will make is like, I'm, they're, they're feeling a little weird about it. So they're like, I'm signing up as a coach. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything, but it's just for the discount because Shakeology is $130 a month, but plus tax and shipping. But if you do it as a coach, you get a 25% discount. So it's this price, but then you also get cheaper shipping. So then you actually save this much over this month. And literally they have not asked you a thing about price, you guys. And you literally just overwhelmed and confused the crap out of them. So don't do that. Don't answer any questions that they do not ask. We only answer questions that they do ask. So here's another thing, right? Like right before you send the enroller, what if they ask you, okay, great. Like, yeah, I'm so psyched about this. How much does it cost? You just tell them. <laughs> but, but you don't just say the price. You're going to include what? I just read Kat's lips. She said everything. And she said it just like that, just so you guys know. Um, but yes, you're going to include, again, you're going to build that value, right? Like if I'm sending somebody a UPF pack for the newbies on the call, an ultimate portion fix pack, I'm literally going to say, you are going to get 30 nutritional videos. They're going to talk to you about why we eat the macros the way we do. We're going to talk about time nutrition. We're going to talk about carb cycling. We're going to talk about how you can include wine and treats and those sorts of things. We're going to talk about emotional eating, sugar addiction, how to shop, how to read labels, what, how to food prep, um, several different ways and tips and tricks about how you can use the containers, all of those sorts of things, right? We're going to talk to you. So you get all of those videos. Plus you're going to get access to the cooking show. Plus you're going to get the new cookbook. 
plus you're going to get access to real time 21 day fix and 21 day fix extreme that autumn just redid and made even better because she did them live so she can show you how you can make them more advanced each week and get better results you're also going to get access to beach body on demand for an entire year where you're going to get access to every single one of our programs that we've ever put out you're going to get 75 recipes for your kids you're going to get a journal tracking book that you can go through and track your food and your emotions and all of that stuff in every single day. You're going to get access to my group. You're going to get me as your coach. You're going to get 30 days supply of Shakeology. You're going to get a portion, um, the portion control containers, and you're going to get a Shakeology shaker cup all for $200. Right. Then you're like, that's a lot of, that's not my, the reaction. Every single time I say that to somebody is, Oh, that's not bad. Wow. That's a lot. Cause it is, it just took me five minutes to talk to you about it everything that you get for $200. That's insane, you guys, that's insane. So the value is there and they're gonna get that accountability partner and that support and that fun that they've been missing in the other parts of them trying to attempt something like this. Okay, now, any questions? <clears throat> and you guys, that is the basic gist. I can tell you I've been a coach for five years and like I said at the beginning of this call, some of the products may have changed. We may not do DVDs anymore. We may do, you know, we're doing streaming. We may have like changed the way portion fix is included. We may have done all that stuff, but at its base, the conversation is the same over and over and over and over and over and over again. And if you can nail that part of your business down, you will be unstoppable. It's sending out a shit ton of invites and then having those good conversations. It's posting daily, sending a ton of invites, having those good conversations, and then doing the shit yourself. That's it. That's this business. It does not need to be complicated. It's very, very, very simple. You do that, you become a millionaire. That's it. Period. Any questions? There's no stupid questions, Lauren. <laughs> All right. I'm going to scroll through here real quick just to see. Mostly Meg, yes. Terrified, yes. Are the workouts, Shannon answered that. Me too, left my ass up. Nice job. Love it. Um, yep. Or I can't, I'm building a shed, asking for a friend maybe? What? Uh, that's what I say, love that. Fire emoji, that's exactly what I say. There's a lot of things, that's exactly what I say. I've had at least three people tell me I don't have any goals, I'm, <laughs> not into working out or eating healthy at all. Yeah. That type of person is just putting, giving you stupid answers because they don't want any part of it. So I would just like be like, okay, good luck. Always here. If you change your mind, move on. And if they don't unfriend you or block you, that means they're still watching your ass and they're going to sign up with you. Like Sam Ramsdale did to me. Um, my favorite, what if you had someone sign up and didn't ask enough questions and they signed up with T20, they fall off the wagon and now they're ghosting you. How do you get them back? P.S. Sorry for long question. It's not that long of a question. Honestly, you just message them and I would voice message over like texting and I would say, hey, I know that you fell off of Transform 20. Maybe it wasn't the right program for you, but I wanted to know I'm still here for you and you have access to these programs for a year and I know you had some amazing results. So like, dude, let's, let's get together and let's fix this. If she doesn't answer you after that, I might send like a little like emoji of like her ghosting you or like sliding into your DMs like, like a weirdo, right? And then I would just put her out for like a monthly like check-in because it's not your job to make somebody do something. They have to be motivated to do it themselves. Yes, take me through a typical day of your eating, PB and J. Okay, so I totally get that. I used to do such anxiety at the gym. Yep, 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 yep. That's working for you. Yes, bingo. Brace the yoga. <laughs> I'm still here. Tell me. Sometimes the workouts that you hate are the ones you need the most. Yes, Liz, that actually went through my head and I didn't say it out loud while we were doing that, but it's true. And you could say that to somebody. I wouldn't give them a full yoga program, <laughs> but I would say just try it. 30 minutes after you've done six days of workouts, you might freaking really love that yoga class. Um, I typically will ask one more question and ask, what do you think you could benefit from what's with do you think you could benefit from some structure with your nutrition? Yes, it's a great question. You guys, also, if you look over at the conversation template again, or the scripts again, the conversation template also gives you tons of questions that you can ask in that nutrition area. And if you don't see some that are in there that you think would be like great to add, go and add them in the comment section or let me know and I'll edit the doc for you. 
Um, I typically ask how committed they are to changing. Yes, Erica, that's awesome too. Um, you know, from a scale from zero to 10 right now, like I just talked to, I just literally signed somebody up while we were on this call and she had said to me, um, that, you know, she bought 21 day fix before, but she just wasn't ready. Now she's ready. She's committed. So that's why she's jumping in with me now. And she got the new one. Uh, you want me to help you get started right now? Kat said that, uh, dudes, I can tell you that when I first started coaching, Chris Reed would be like, do you want me to jump on a phone call with you? And like your person that you want to get started and see if they like want to do this. And he would ask that question. And I would just about sink in my chair and die. I'm like, Oh my God, he came right out and asked, but like the whole reason we're talking to them is because of that. Um, Katie, I also said the picture, I sent the picture of the different options for them to choose base combo or mega. Sometimes I do. And sometimes I don't, depending on who I'm talking to. Um, sometimes it's just freaking easier to just be like, great. What's your email and what's your shake. And then after they're like committed and ready to be like, dude, you should add this on. Also, if they're signing up as a coach, I don't want them to go with combo or mega. I want them to sign up their spouse immediately and buy the, um, performance stock. And I also don't want them to have the mega because I don't want them to postpone their shipping freaking two months in because they've got too much product. So the, I found that the combo and mega, you might make bigger commission off at first, but it kind of Fs you over later on. Um, so I said all my friends up as a coach. Yes, Kat answered that question. This is where I feel I let, lose people, what they get. Teresa, did we answer that though while we're doing this? Okay. The options. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Meg. Meg answered it in a sentence, and Katie put the options. I have people freak because they have to put their SS in. And okay, so the social security thing. Do they get BOD for a year with the nutrition pack? Um, Teresa, if they're just doing UPF, no. But you can add Beachbody on demand to that UPF pack that's one hundred and sixty for just forty dollars for the entire year. I know if you go in the back office or the share cart, it looks like you're adding it and it's $99. But once you get to the cart, you'll see that it changed the price and it's just $40. So it's $200 and you get everything that I just listed off to you. Um, also the social security number. So who wants to answer that question? It's in the comments. Okay. Right after that. Um, um, I'll read what I wrote. I was going to say, Meg's answer is way better than mine. Beachbody is a legit company and they follow all the rules. So if you were to take advantage of the coaching and made some extra money, they would send you a tax form stuck. So no need to worry. Yeah. I like that she is actually positioning herself in that statement as like, I've got something you want, not just like, oh, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> all right. So, ha, 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 so treat it like that. Oh my gosh, no worries there. Nothing will ever be used unless you learn in the business and start making money. Um, yep. Katie, would you post what you say about the coach account? Yes. Bye. Great call. Bye. Okay. <laughs> How to handle following up with people when they ghost you. I just literally... I follow up several times in a row and then um, like literally two days out, four days out, a week out. And then if they're not answering me at that point, I just put them for like a month out because I'm not wasting my time on people who are ghosting me. There's other people who need my help. Uh, Katie, I went ahead and said, yep, she put that there for you guys. If you didn't, if you didn't copy what Katie just put right there, it is in the scripts in the conversation template in the files section of Team Project Fearless. Beach Buddies, yes, she just read that. Like, yes, yes, yes. Also heads up. Yeah, so she put that, both of them put that there. It's in the conversation template in the file section. Also, the second they sign up, I say, I know I said there was no obligation. Yes. So that's a great point too. At the very end of the transaction, once they've purchased their challenge pack and you've set them up as a coach because you're doing them a favor by giving them that discount and they are helping you with your rank. Here's something you guys may or may not know. When you sign somebody up as a coach and you're saving them that 25% a month on their Shakeology or their performance line or whatever they're getting and they're also getting that cheaper shipping, you actually make less money off of them. In the beginning, it's just volume going through your business and you have a very small business. So that volume isn't going to accumulate too much of a cycle bonus, but it is helping you reach that rank. 
so that you can create volume in your business and you can have more of a cycle bonus. So if you had them set up as just a customer, you would make more of a commission off of them every single time that they purchased. So stop putting it in your head that like, oh, I'm doing this shady thing by making them a coach because you're not. You're doing them a favor and you're helping build your rank. Second, um, yes, what Katie said there. So when they sign up and they're all completed and all that jazz, then you can literally say to them, I know we didn't talk about it, but if you want to throw a post up to social or you've got a couple friends that want to join you, we can help you make that money right back. And it'll be even more fun because you have some people in the group to help you stay more accountable. Or what Katie said right here. Also, the second they sign up, I say, I know I said there was an obligation to coach like me, but would you be interested in learning more about how I can help you earn your money right back? And then some. Also, there's a different phrased one in the team page files section under the scripts and the conversation template. All right. That was a little longer call than normal, but that's okay because I think it was beneficial. Any other questions before we jump off here? Cool. 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 Rock on. Go invite some people. Use those scripts and those combos, you guys. They're like they're they're freaking gold. We shared them with you because that's what works. And you'll notice that like every single time that everybody on here knew what to say that's been around for a bit, and it was all the same thing. So clearly it works. You're welcome. Have a great night.